As the U.S. firms up its defenses in West Asia, it is facing fresh challenges in the East. We're talking about the South China Sea. Beijing is testing American defenses. A dangerous encounter took place this week. Take a look at this. That was a Chinese military plane. It was flying over the South China Sea and it ended in an unsafe maneuver. This could have easily caused a collision. The Chinese plane had a close call with an American aircraft, a B-52 bomber. It was airborne at the same time. The Chinese plane came dangerously close to it. It was just 10 feet away from the American bomber. Initially, the Chinese pilot approached rapidly. Then he maneuvered in front of the bomber and finally he crossed under the American jet's wing. It was a very close shave. Now the U.S. forces have released a statement. They're calling the Chinese pilot, quote-unquote, unprofessional. The statement also has a detailed account. The U.S. says the Chinese pilot was flying his plane below and in front of America's jet and he was doing so, and I'm quoting, at an uncontrolled and excessive speed. That's what the U.S. has said. And what is China's response? More accusations. Beijing has released a video of its own. This one does not feature an airplane. Instead, it shows two warships. China says a U.S. warship is harassing their navy, the Chinese navy. Take a look at this now. U.S. warship 114. This is Chinese 164. You are crossing my bow, possibly. It's now, this did not happen recently. This video is from the month of August. Again, this happened in the South China Sea. China says its ship was on a routine training. That's when it was approached by the American warship, the USS Ralph Johnson. Beijing says this was a quote-unquote close in harassment. And it wants the US to back off. So it is asserting itself with these tactics. Beijing wants American military assets to leave the South China Sea. That's unlikely, especially after Biden's outburst this week. China has had some encounters with the Philippines too. We've been telling you about them. And the U.S. president spoke about it. He said of, if Filipino vessels are attacked, the U.S. will respond with force. I want to be clear. I want to be very clear. The United States defense commitment to the Philippines is ironclad. The United States defense agreement with the Philippines is ironclad. Now, Biden could not have timed this better. A day after that statement, China's foreign minister arrived in Washington. Wang Yi is meeting senior U.S. officials. Yesterday, he met his American counterpart, Antony Blinken. The world was expecting fireworks, but Wang Yi adopted a completely different tone. China and the United States are two major countries. We have disagreements, we have differences. At the same time, we also share important common interests, and we face challenges. So we need to respond together. Seems like Beijing is looking for an opening. There is talk of a dialogue at the military level. Beijing is uh, soon set to host an event where cooperation on international security will be discussed and reports say that the U.S. will send a representative, an official of the U.S. Defense Department. And this is a shift because last year, China froze military contact with America. This was after Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan. She was the U.S. House Speaker back then. And there's also speculation of a meeting between Xi Jinping and Joe Biden. That could happen as soon as next month, which is why Wang Yi is visiting Washington in the first place. He's laying the groundwork for that meeting. So the U.S. and China are trying to mend ties. But can Biden trust Xi Jinping? He has good reasons to be cautious. The tensions in the South China Sea do not help. But the bigger worry is the instability of Xi Jinping. No one knows what he'll do next. In recent months, he has sacked his defense and foreign ministers, two very important cabinet portfolios. Both went missing, both were subsequently fired. Now their replacements have been named. But these are men who lead conversations with America. And they keep vanishing without a trace. If they keep vanishing without a trace, global engagements will suffer. For instance, if there's another tense face-off in the South China Sea, who will the Americans call? Who will they negotiate with? So at this point, we say Biden's biggest challenge is Xi Jinping's unpredictability.